I pray thee, good Mercutio, let's retire. The day is hot, the capitals are abroad, and if we meet, we shall not escape abroad. For now, these hot days, is the man blood stirring. Thou art like one of these fellows that when he enters the confines of the tavern, claps me his sword upon the table and says, God, send me no need of thee. And by the operation of the second cup draws him on the door when indeed there is no need. Am I like such a fellow? Come, come. Thou art as hot a jack in thy mood as in any in Italy, and as soon moved to be moody, and as soon moody to be moved. And what to? Nay, and there were two such. We should have none shortly, for one would kill the other. Thou why thou wilt quarrel with a man that hath a hair more than hair less in his beard than thou hast. Thou wilt with a man for cracking nuts and having no other reason but thou hast hailed eyes. What I but such an eye would spy out such a quarrel. Thy head is full of cores as an egg is full of meat, and yet thy head been beaten as idle as an egg for quarrel. Thou hast quarreled with the man for coughing in the street because it hath had wakened thy dog that hate lame asleep in the sun. Didst thou not fall out with the tailor for wearing his new doublet before Easter, with another for tying his new shoes with old ribbon, and yet thou wilt tutor me for quarreling? And I were so apt to quarrel as thou art. Any man should buy the fee simple of my life for an hour and a quarter. The fee simple? Oh, simple. By my head, here comes the Capulets. By my heel, I care not. Follow me close, for I will speak to them. Gentlemen, good enemy, I warn with one of you. And but one word with one of us? Couple it with something, and make it a word of, and a blow. You shall find me apt enough to that, sir, and you will give me occasion. Could you not take some occasions without giving? Mercutio, thou consortest with Romeo. Consort, what dost make what dost thou make us minstrels? And thou make minstrels of us look to hear, but nothing but discords. Here's my fiddle Here's that shall you make you dance. Zounds consort. We talk here in the public haunt of them. Man, either withdraw unto some private place, or reason coldly of your grievances, or else depart, hear all eyes gaze on us. Men's eyes were made to look, and let them gaze. I will not budge for no man's pleasure. I. Well, peace be with you, sir. Here comes my man. But I'll behave, sir, if you wear your livery. Mary, go before the field. He'll be your follower. Your worship, in that sense, may call him man. Rome, the love I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. Tybalt, the reason that I have to love thee doth much excuse the appetating rage with such a greeting. Villain am I known, therefore farewell. I know, see, thou knows me not. Boy, this shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. Ter therefore, turn and draw. I do protest, I never injured thee, but love thee better than thou canst devise. Thou shalt know the reason of my love, and so, good Capulet, which name I tender as dearly as my own, be sound. O calm, dishonorable, vile submission, Alex Staccato carries it away. Tibble, you right catcher, will you what? What wouldst you have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your own nine lives that I mean to make bold withal, and as you shall use me hereafter, drive me the rest of the eight. Will you pluck the sword of his culture by the ears? Make cats lest mind me about your ears ere it be out. I am for you. Gentle Mercutio, put thy rapier up. Come, sir, your posada. Draw me both you, beat down the weapons. Gentlemen, for shame, forbear this outrage. Tibble, Mercutio, the prince expresses hath forbid this banding in the Roman streets. Hold, Tibble, good. I am hurt. A plague of both houses. I am sped. Is he gone and hath nothing? What? Art thou hurt? Aye, aye, a scratch, a scratch. Mary, tis enough. Where is my page? Go, villain, fetch a surgeon. Courage, man. The hood cannot be much. No, tis not so deep as well, nor so wide as a church door, but it tis enough. Twill serve. Ask for me tomorrow, and you shall find me a great man. I am peppered. I warn for this world. A plague of both your houses. Zounds a dog, a rat, a mouse, a cat to scratch a man to death. A braggart a rogue, a villain that fights by the book of arithmetic. Why the devil came you between us? 
I was hurt under your arm. I thought all for the best. Come me into some house, Benvolio, or I shall faint a plague of both your houses. And they have made worms meet from, of me, and I have it, and soundly too, your houses. This gentleman, the price is near alley. My very friend hath got this mortal hurt. In my behalf, my reputation stained with Tybalt slander. Tybalt, that an hour hath been my cousin. O oh, sweet Juliet, thy beauty hath made me ephemian. Eff and my temper softened valor steel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, brave Mercutio is dead. That gallant spirit has inspired the clouds which too untimely here did scorn the earth. This day's black fate on more days doth depend. This but begins the woe others must end. Here comes the furious Tybalt back again. I've been triumphed, and Mercutio slain. Way to heaven, respected Lindy. And far out theory may be conduct now. Now, Tybalt, take the villain back again, that l late thou gavest me for Mercutio's soul. It is but a little way above our heads, save for thine to keep him company. Either thou or I or both must go with him. Thou wretched boy that didst consort him here, shalt with him hence. This shall determine that. Romeo, away, be gone. The citizens are up, and Tybalt slain, stand not amazed. The prince will doom thee death if thou art taken. Hence, be gone away. Oh, I am fortune's fool. Why dost thou stay? Which way ran that he that killed Mercutio? Tybalt, that murderer, which way he ran? There lies that Tybalt. Up, sir, go with me. I charge thee in the prince's name. Obey. Where are the vile beginners of this fray. O oh, noble prince, I can discover all, the unlucky manage of this fatal brawl. There lies the men, slain by young Romeo, that slew their kinsman, brave Mercutio. Tipple, my cousin, my brother's child, O oh, prince, O oh, cousin, husband, O oh, the blood is spilled, my dear kinsman. Prince, as thou art true, for blood of ours, shed blood of Montague. O oh, cousin, cousin. Bevolio, who began this bloody fray? Tybalt, him slain, whom Romeo's hand did slay. Romeo, that spoke him fair, bid him bethink how nice the quarrel was, and urged withal. Your high displeasure, all this uttered with gentle breath, calm look, me's humbly bowed, could not take truth with the untruly spleen of Tybalt. Deep to peace. But that he tells. With piercing steel at bold Mercutio's breast, who, all as hot, turned steadily point to point, and, with a martial scorn, with one hand beats cold death aside and with the other sends it backs to Tybalt, whose externity resorts it. Romeo he cries aloud, Hold friends, friends part and swifter than his town. His agile arm beats down the fatal points and twists them rushes underneath whose arm an envious thrust from Tybalt hit the life of stout Mercutio. And then Tybalt fled, but by and by comes back to Romeo, who had but newly entertained revenge, and today go like lightning. For ere I could draw to part them was stout Tybalt slain, and as he fell did Romeo turn and fly. This is the truth, or let Benvolio die. He is a kinsman to the Montague. Affection makes him false. He speaks not true. Some twenty of the twenty could be killed, but kill one life. I beg for justice, which thou, prince, must give. Romeo slew the Tybalt. Romeo must not live. Romeo slew him. He slew Mercutio, who now the price of his dear blood doth owe. Not Romeo, prince. He was Mercutio's friend. This fall concludes for what the law should end, the life of Tybalt. And for that offense, immediately we do exile him hence. I have an interest in your heart's proceeding. My blood for your rude brawl doth lie bleeding. But I will immerse you with so strong a fine that you shall all repent the loss of mine. I will be deep to pleading and excuses. Nor tears nor prayers shall purchase out abuses. Therefore use none, let Romeo hence in haste. 
L when he is down. That hour is his last. Fear hands this body in a ten-hour will. Mercy but murders, pardoning those that kill.